Hi guys, this is the second part of a local unit test on Android and today we're gonna cover Mokita. So Mokita is a mocking library and with it you can actually unit test most of your Android code. But actually to make your application easy to test, you need to design it uh, the correct way first. So what I saw was uh, MVP architecture was uh, really common for Android unit testing. But the way I designed my apps was uh, basically I think it's called MVVM, which stands for Model View View Model, because I was using uh, just the simple ar architecture with the, with all the logic staying in the activity fragments and XML layouts were with the data binding and had some simple logic for displaying the models and data. So if you're not familiar with the MVP, so the model is your database or API or backend or any access to the data source. A view is your activity of fragment or layout XML, which should be passive and provide the public API for presenter. And presenter handles all the actual logic, whether it's uh, fetching stuff from backend and then handling this data to a view to display. The most important here is that the view shouldn't have any logic in itself, it just should take stuff from presenter and simply display it. And uh, here you see the arrow goes from a view to presenter. Those are just simple fart events from user. So basically on-click listeners or some kind of user event listeners. So if you just uh, passes them to the presenter, presenter handles the logic, whether it's a user model or not, and then gets back to view with results to display. So that's uh, MVP in uh, essence. And I'm gonna build a simple uh, chat activity today. I'm continuing with the same project we stopped uh, last time. Let's rename it to chat activity. And I'm gonna create a, a new package for a chat. So first you need to create a contract. Since it's a chat activity, it's gonna be called chat contract. So here we've got uh, two interfaces. Uh, basically, you start by declaring your interfaces for view and presenter. So let's start with presenter. The first method uh, that comes up in my mind is send a message, right? And it takes a string input from edit text. Let's call it send message with string message and uh, it should access uh, our model first but uh, let's just ignore model in uh, this example and just focus on presenter and uh, view so then it would call a method on a view let's uh, name it add message which is gonna add a list item to our list view the next we would want to have a uh, edit text change listener which is gonna disable or enable send button if the input is empty or not. I was thinking whether to keep this logic in the view itself because basically there is just a listener on edit text and you just handle the view itself by disabling or enabling send button. But I read about the passive view approach, let's just stick with it where all the logic goes into presenter. The edit text listener is gonna trigger a method of presenter and then it's gonna go back to view to tell it what to do. And let's call it uh, message input changed with string message input. And if it takes an empty string, then it's gonna disable send button or enable it. And also after sending the message, we would want to clear the mess edit text input and this is gonna be a view method. This I think is the basis of uh, our chat activity. Now with Makita you can actually test uh, both the view and presenter but uh, testing the view is kind of uh, more complicated so let's just test presenter with Makita and in the next post where we gonna cover Roboelectric we gonna test view and uh, and triggering user uh, events. I'm gonna call it uh, chat present enter test and first let's add Makita to Gradle and just to show you where a view and presenter stands in our activity is gonna implement view 
now it should contract view and we should implement those four methods and uh, we're gonna create a chat presenter here which implements chat contract presenter and it's gonna take a a view in uh, constructor parameters okay now we can forget about those and continue writing our tests for chat presenter so why do we need Makita again to test uh, our presenter is because presenter has a dependency on view so for example when you call send message it should have some logic with the model which we just ignore for now and then it uh, goes back to view to display a new message in the list and since what we're doing is unit testing we need to keep our tests on one class or one method at a time which means that when we test send message a method of presenter we just test the logic in this method and we verify that this method cal called the correct methods of view and not checking the results of views methods just checking if a presenter method call the correct methods of uh, view with the given input that's why we need uh, Makita so let's start with the uh, setting up our test first here we're gonna have a field of uh, presenter and a mock view which we pass to presenter constructor You annotate mock to class with add mock annotation and then call this method mockito annotations init mocks passing the test class which is this and then we can instantiate our chat presenter with this mocked class. Now we can start writing our tests and first go send message and then the input that we're testing let's say a null string and it shouldn't uh, send any message no actions the next should be an empty string same no message sent and then a normal string message sent and then we test the second method this method is triggered when message input text is changed to disable or uh, enable send button so let's say it's called with null string which shouldn't uh, be called but uh, just for testing purposes then button should be disabled the next one with empty string same send button should be disabled and when it's called with an normal string send button should be enabled now we can start implementing our test so let's call a presenter send message with a null string and in this case we shouldn't send any message so with makita there is a create method called verify which takes a mock class which is our chat view and then the method that you expect to be triggered or not then you can pass a matcher for any string it's a nullable string any string or null and then we expect it not to be called so then we add a second argument in this method and it's gonna be none uh, never so we verify that uh, this method add message of uh, chat view was never called the second test should be the same but with an empty string the same add message of chat view was never called with any string then we call send message of presenter with the normal string and we verify that add message was called with this exact string let's extract it as a message and we verify that add message of view was called with this message string continuing to test in uh, edit text events with null string so presenter was called with null input and we verify that we called to disable 
send button from view this method should be called just like that and then an empty string and a regular message verify that send button is enabled let's run our tests a few of them passed and uh, let's start implementing our presenter so first what we need is to test if message is null or empty in that case we call add message of view already three tests passed and uh, message input met method handle now here the same if message input equals null or is empty then disable button send button otherwise enable send button let's test it now all our tests passed and this concludes the basis of unit testing with Makita so what we tested is just a half of the activity methods okay and in the, in the next post i'm gonna cover how to test view and uh, trigger events listener to test that our view handles events correctly to presenter using mvp we kept our architecture very modular and we didn't even have to implement our layouts so the source code you can find on github uh, link is in the description and uh, subscribe talk to you later